Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is okay. You can watch one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading to get more specific information for your situation. All that information is in the description box. All right, Aries, what is going on with Aries, second half of November? Oh, we have Dark Night of the Soul. Okay. So things, for somebody, it could be for you, but it could also be for your, for your person. Somebody is having um, a difficult time going through a lot of, possibly some, facing some shadows, facing some fears, things coming to the surface, not really having an easy time right now. I feel like this is someone who is sitting with themselves just trying to figure out what has happened, what is going on, what do they want to do, that kind of energy. So let's see, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of November. All right, for... Whew situation we have the devil all right capricorn energy crossed by the two of swords in the recent past we have the eight of pentacles in the near future we have the five of pentacles in your energy we have the hanging man for them we have the three of swords more about what's going on with you is the Page of Swords for them, the lovers, and potential outcome here for November is the Seven of Wands. All right, Aries. Yeah, it does look, just realized we're off the camera. All right, it looks like it's it's not an easy time. It's not an easy time right now, that's for sure. Um, there's, Somebody is really stuck in their head, um, not, not being able to figure something out. And I feel like that's just really keeping them in a state of fear. Again, not knowing what to do, right? I feel like this devil is very representative of that dark night of the soul. Um, and especially crossed by the two of swords, it could possibly be somebody who's trying to make a decision. Um, but not fully seeing, you know, exactly what it is that is happening. Um, there was some effort here in the recent past between the two of you or you know whoever this is whether it's you or them there was a lot of effort that was being put into resolving whatever this situation is um, and I do actually see that in the near future um, somebody's feeling alone here and I do have a feeling that it's the same person who was going through the dark night of the soul um, still not very clear as to who it is. I do get the sense that it's the other person here that you're dealing with because they have the three of swords all right, in their, in their energy. Um, you having the hanging man and the page of swords. I feel like you're just taking your time. I feel like you're just not really taking much action. You're not doing anything. You may have taken a step back from this connection, but you are still interested in what is going on. Um, there's definitely a part of you that is trying to observe the situation and the relationship or the connection, whatever, or whatever's going on with the other person. And you're curious to learning about what might be happening as well. For them, well, they also have the lovers. We have Gemini showing up here. Um, I think I did say Capricorn. They're, they're hurting. They're in a lot of pain because they, they, there's a lot of love here that this person has for you, okay? I don't know what may have happened, um, but they're crying over this, this connection at the moment and going to be feeling alone coming up. I really do feel like this is them here um, with the Five of Pentacles. For the potential outcome, the Seven of Wands, um, being someone being a little bit guarded, I feel like this could also be you kind of standing your ground and keeping your... Keeping your boundaries, basically. But let's see, let's get the details here. All right, so let's clarify the devil with the two of swords. All 
right? We have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it could be that you're both a little bit, a little bit in this type of an energy, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, on the surface for you, you're just more chill. But I feel like underneath that, there is a bit of, again, just trying to weigh things out. I feel like you're just really trying to find your balance. So I feel like it is affecting you a little bit more than what you are truly allowing yourself to, to feel. Um, or definitely from what you're showing. Uh, it, it just, it's coming in like there's been a lot of waiting for things to come into balance. There's been a lot of waiting for things to just kind of resolve. I feel like there's been a lot of, a lot of back and forth. And it, it just kind of feels like whoever it is that's going through this dark night of the soul, which again, I feel like it, it's your person. They're having a really hard time coping with that. I feel like something didn't happen in the way that, that you expected or the way that they expected. All right, let's see that hanging man for your energy. All right, the magician, the four of pentacles and the knight of swords. Yeah, you're really trying to hold back. I feel like, you know, that you, you're getting possibly some urges to, to take some action maybe, or to communicate. And for others of you, it's going to be the complete opposite, getting urges to just like run. <laughs> um, but you're trying to hold back. You're really trying to just just find um, your, just not go crazy here. Either way, I feel like you're just really trying to find that that middle ground. And you're trying to get yourself to the to this place where you're just, where you just don't care to give your energy to this anymore. Well, let's see this page of swords. All right, yeah, we have the 10 of wands. Let me get one more. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, you know, you're, I, I feel like you are still, I mean, you're managing this. You are trying to just control basically your own self here, but it's really hard to control our emotions. That's the thing. It's hard to control our emotions. Our emotions are what they are. So yeah, you are kind of keeping an eye on this. There is a bit of you that is um, curious about this, but even that is beginning to um, weigh on you. And so I feel like, again, you're trying not to. You're just tired of, of I feel like you're tired of whatever it is that was happening with this person, but at the same time, you're also tired of your own self in the way that you react to it, or, you know, in terms of possibly waiting for them to do something or anything along those lines. Or maybe even, um, because with that seven of swords, it's like, it's like a sneakiness, like, or something possibly even being a little secretive or just not 100% out in the open. And so I feel like that has tired you out as well. And you don't want any more of that. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Three of Swords. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, some of you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. Um, I mean, it could be any sign. I'm also kind of getting strong air at the same time. But it's like this person is trying to fix themselves or trying to work on something within themselves, but they're just so... 
I feel like they're so stressed about whatever it is that is happening right now that it's almost like they're blocking that out. Like they're, it's kind of like um, they're inhibiting their own self from being able to, to heal something within their own self, possibly even self-worth. And that's because they are in so much pain at the moment. Let's see the lovers. All right, we have Justice, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, this person is going through some really heavy energy. Um, there's something here that they are recognizing. They're recognizing that something in terms of this justice is what has led to like some kind of an ending or to pain or to a betrayal. Um, so I feel like this justice is representing something that was unfair or a decision that was not made or um, a decision having been made that was not in the best interest of this person or of you. And because of that, there has been this really painful type of an energy here, which is causing this person to have that dark night of the soul. Let's see the five of pentacles for what is coming up. The two of wands and the two of cups. I, I really feel like this is your person and not you. For some, I mean, maybe it's you, take it as it resonates, but I feel like it's your person more than anything. This person is left feeling alone. Um, that is what is coming up. This person is left feeling alone um, and waiting, like still waiting to... I don't, I don't really get that they're waiting for you to come in. It could be that, but it could also be them waiting on their own self to do something about that two of cups. Let me get one more. Let's see if we can get more clear about that. Just had the five of pentacles flip over again. Yeah, feeling like they're at a loss here. Whatever this decision was or lack thereof has led to this person feeling alone, feeling um, like it just was not the right decision, whatever it is that they did. All right, page of wands. Yeah, they're, they're waiting to see if they can take some action here. But I feel like they don't know how. They're just thinking about it because they're feeling so alone. But again, you know, they're in that dark night of the soul, so it would be a little bit difficult for them to actually be motivated. I feel like this page of wands is all about that motivation. And it's almost like there's this waiting energy to get that motivation to see what can actually be done. All right, so let's see that seven of wands. What are the potential outcomes here? And do keep in mind the potential outcome, right? It's just a potential. You can always shift things if you would want to. And it is temporary, right? It's not forever and ever. All right, so we have ooh, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Emperor. All right, well, there you are standing strong in your power. I do see that you are... Your, this is you standing your ground. Um, it's not really clear how this person is going to move along. Because um, I do see them waiting for that motivation that that is actually the issue for them here. And that's because they're going through that dark night of the soul, as I've been saying. So I feel like in the meantime, you are pretty much standing your ground. Even though there's a lot of love here and there is love here from this person, that's for sure. But you're trying to move away from this for now. You're trying to move away from this, trying to get yourself to a place that is going to be a little bit more um, pleasing to you rather than being stuck in this connection, which was 
not feeling very healthy, especially with, you know, whatever it is that may have happened. And I see you being able to do that. I actually feel like this emperor is also representative of your person eventually coming around, but I feel like it is taking, taking a little bit of time and also it really does come together with you actually standing your ground in the way that you are. And you are moving in that direction. So, Aries. Let's see. Final message for Aries if this resonated. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. All right, and we have the full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. All right, so just take that message as it resonates, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know who has pride here. <laughs> um, just don't let it get in, in your way if, you know, anything arises where you feel like your ego might actually be kind of trying to fully come forward in a way just to protect you, okay? So... Yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. Much love.